Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I'm back today to show you this cool little thing that I've done, and um, I've not seen it anywhere before. Doesn't mean it's not out there. You know how that goes. You think you got a hot idea, and then you find out that it is somewhere out there. But anyhow, what it is, these are little one signature journals that I'm currently working on. They are by no means finished. But I wanted to jump in here and show you this. Now, all the fabric that I'm using is upholstery fabric. So it's a little thicker and chunkier. Um, but if you know me, you know that I try to use what I have and I try to, you know, upcycle and make the best out of it. So not always are the things the most beautiful, perhaps, but sometimes you got to worry about function. Anyhow, what I've done is I've had... I have buttons. Boy, do I have buttons. I have a lot of buttons. Let me tell you, I have buttons. But anyhow, these are shank buttons. And um, this one is not finished. It's about showing you the button in the cover. Um, so anyhow, this is how I put my shank buttons in. I believe it's called a cotter key. There's, um, I've seen seen it called cotter key and cotter pin but it's the one that has the ridges on it it's not the straight flat one like a bobby pin all right this one has a little hump in it and i suggest if you are going to do this that you use buttons that have a metal shank i'm afraid with a lot of pressure that the plastic might break the plastic shank buttons might break um, i've used them but you know you have to be careful and yep, as you can see, I am using an Amazon mailer. Now that's what all of these are. They're Amazon mailers. Let me show you here real quick. I'm just going to take this one off. See, one little ribbon. And then inside, I've also done the um, upholstery fabric. Now you can see a little bit of a hump here. That is the shank button with the cotter key in it but um it holds the button in place and then i've sewed all around it but this is a which oh no this is an actual piece of plastic that came off the um, upholstery fabric i believe the rest of it though is the uh, mailers and then what i wanted to show you in here is i've used all kinds of papers and as you know i'm on the design team for sweet pea curiosities so this is one of her digitals, another, and then this is another. I have taken, and another, and another, um, I've taken just miscellaneous digitals that maybe I printed out out of one of her kits and then didn't use it. Um, so again, these are kind of my cleanup journals. One signature, and let me tell you, I sell these. Um, I do them at a yard sale at a, a local town um, that's about 20 miles away and a lot of the younger folks like them they want to maybe get into junk journaling but don't quite know how to another digital um, this is a digital I like doing the little notepads my pages are perforated up under there to tear off but I enjoy just doing the one signature ones and they get to play and create and you know do what they do without having to go out and buy a lot of supplies. Now I don't have any of the signatures sewn in these because I, um, I'm just, you know, I'm getting started at, at putting them together. Now some of your buttons may be a little tighter. Again, I said, you know, I'm using upholstery fabric. And what is this one? This one is, um, I'm going to say a lot of these are that vinyl. I know I have some paper bags in there. Maybe I didn't. As I've put these away for a few weeks. Yeah, these are all the plastic that comes on the um, upholstery fabric. I was thinking they were the Amazon bags. But this button here has a lot of room in it. And um, again, you know, working with Sweet Pea Curiosity Digitals and just weaving them all through and just using up some miscellaneous papers. Um, so anyhow, give it a try. Just want to show you some of my covers here. The insides are usually a little plainer, but aren't they pretty? I just, I mean, I I enjoy using up the upholstery fabric and, and like I said, just making some one signature ones. And uh, yeah, so that's it. 
I will um, take these to a retreat that I'm going to um, this month and hopefully get them all finished. I've got most of my papers together. I do need to put in some pockets and some stuff like that, which, you know, I've got plenty of those from Sweet Pea Curiosities as well. Um, so anyhow, but don't forget, go get you some little cotter um, keys. They're cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm, you know, like maybe, I don't know, 30 cents I think I paid for each one of them but you know they will help you keep your little button in place and yeah you can use up all those buttons too so anyhow that's just a little video um, I will link down below how to get to Sweet Pea Curiosities Etsy shop and I'm telling you there's all kinds of digitals in there she does beautiful work and um, those I just printed on some plain paper but if you really want something to pop, I've learned from her to use presentation paper. There's different weights of it. So, of course, the heavier, the more expensive. Um, I have found that medium presentation paper works for me. But um, go and take a look at Sweet Pea Curiosities on Etsy. Um, if I'm going to put up a video, I am going to do it on Tuesdays at 6 p.m., um, I haven't been getting every um, Tuesday. I've been busy. I do six retreats a year. Four here in Georgia that are all kinds of crafters. And two that are in Alabama, northern Alabama, that are more geared toward junk journaling and mixed media. We have some card makers. Um, but, you know, if you're a crafter, we would like to chat with you and, uh, you know, have you join us in either one of the groups. So um, I do have a Facebook page, a group. I have my personal Facebook. You can reach out to me if you are interested in joining me at any of the retreats. We have fun, but we also have plenty of time to sit there and create. And then you can chat with your neighbor. And um, there's some lifelong friends and friendships that have been made at these retreats. And I'm also on Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest. And I do have a small Etsy shop. So check me out and I appreciate you coming by and I hope that you will give the button and the cotter key a chance and uh, make you some little journals. So I appreciate you and I will catch you going down the road. Bye.